Hey everyone, how's it going Cloud here and welcome to my guide on the Sears Village task system. In this video today we'll be focusing on the hard tasks. Now before we begin I'm going to go through all the requirements and items needed to complete all of the tasks. So four quest requirements, you need to have completed the King's Ransom, you need to have done Fairy Tale Part 2, Cure a Queen, up to the part where you can use the Fairy Rings, uh, you need to complete the Family Crest and you need to have completed Legends Quest. As for skills, you need the following skills, level 80 cooking, 80 fletching, 76 fishing, 75 fire making, 70 defense, 70 prayer, 60 wood cutting, 56 magic, 39 range, 36 agility and 22 strength. As for the items, you will need either a Draymond or Lunar Staff unless you've completed Fairy Tale Part 3. You'll need a Dusty Key if you've got less than 70 agility, a Combat Bracelet, two Magic Logs, a Bowstring, five Unpowered Orbs, a Mithril Grapple, a Mithril Crossbow or higher uh, version such as Adamant Rune etc, uh, Cooking Gauntlets, uh, five Raw Sharks, 15 Cosmic Runes, 150 Water Runes, one Nature Rune, five fire runes and you must be on the regular prayers as you need to activate the uh, PT, uh, piety, however you pronounce it, prayer uh, during the tasks. Now uh, I will write all of those in the video description below just so you guys make sure you haven't missed out on anything. So that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the tasks themselves. So these tasks can be done in any particular order, you don't have to follow the order I do in this video. The only reason I do this particular order is it's the easiest way of completing all of the tasks as one set, and that's obviously bearing in mind you've got all the requirements and items with you to do it. Now on that note, some of you may have already completed these tasks during your general adventures across RuneScape, so it might be possible that you end up trying to complete a task you've already done. So to check uh, what tasks you have and haven't completed, if you go to the Heroes tab, you can go to the relevant section on there to view the different areas. Uh, so you want to go to Sears Village and it will display all of the tasks that you have and haven't completed and you can filter them to set uh, what particular set of tasks and uh, to hide the ones you've completed or to show. Um, but obviously, like I said, for the benefit of this guide, I'll be treating it as you've not completed any of these tasks. So we're going to start this from the Sears Village Lodestone. So the first task we're going to complete is called See You at Five, and that is to cut five sets of yew logs. So the logs must be cut from the yew trees found in the Sears Village area, otherwise it will not count, and obviously you need to have 60 wood cutting to do this. So if you um, go around to the back here where the uh, altar is, the church, there's uh, yew trees just outside, and you want to cut five uh, yew logs from the tree, and once you've done that, the task will be complete. The next task is called the short of it, and that is to string a magic short bow in the Sears Village Bank. So pretty self-explanatory, you want to head to the Sears Village Bank, and once you're actually standing inside it, and make sure you're right in, not at the doorway or anything, you want to uh, attempt to string a magic short bow in the bank. So if you've got the magic logs, you want to craft that into the short bow unstrung, and then add the string. Now if you're doing this at a lower level, you could do it at level 75 fletching with the correct spicy stew, or at 77 fletching with a dose of fletching potion. But either way, once you've completed that, the task will be complete. The next task we're going to complete straight after is called Alcoholic, and that is to high alk, a magic short boat in the Sears Village Bank. So, um... You can do this obviously straight after as you've just made it as long as you've got the runes with you. So literally in your spell book you want to use the high alchemy uh, spell and use it on your magic short bow and as soon as you've done that the task is complete. It is also possible to use your explorer's ring 4 uh, as that has the high alchemy ability as well in order to complete this task. But either way that task is then complete. The next task is called Twisted Firestarter, and that is to burn a magic log in Sears Village. So, literally, if you just now step outside the bank so you're allowed to light logs, you can use uh, your other set of magic logs to light a fire, and as soon as you've done that, that task will be complete. Now obviously that requires 75 fire making, however you can use a spicy stew again to boost your um, stats in order to do that as well. The next task we're going to complete is called Beware of the Dog, and that's to use the Fairy Ring in McGrubber's Wood. 
So the easiest way to do this is if you head over to Mick Brothers Wood and squeeze through the fence, uh, which grants you access to the area, you then want to use the ferry ring to go back to Zanaris, and then from there actually dial the ferry code uh, and that is required to go to Mick Brothers Wood, which is ALS, I believe, and obviously you'll need your Draymond or Luna staff unless you've completed Fairy Tale Part 3. But once you have used that ferry ring, it will come up with a task being complete. The next task is called At Home on the Range, and that is the teleport to the Ranging Guild. So in order to do this, you just need a combat bracelet with at least one charge. Uh, click the combat bracelet and choose the Ranging Guild option, and as soon as you arrive, that task will be complete. The next task is called Water Palava, and that is to charge five water orbs in one go. So obviously you need to be on the standard magic spell book uh, and able to cast a charge water orb on the obelisk of water using 150 water runes or a staff supply on the water runes with 15 cosmic runes and five unpowered orbs. So, in order to reach the Water Obelisk, you need to navigate through the Taverly Dungeon. So we're going to teleport to the Taverly Lodestone via the Lodestone Network and then head south from there. Once you go downstairs, um, obviously if you've got the 70 Agility, you can squeeze through the pipe, which will take you past the Blue Dragons. If not, you will require your Dusty Key. Uh, if you're not sure on how to require a Dusty Key, I'll write that in the video description, but most of you should know by now. Um, navigate yourself all the way through the dungeon, past the Hellhounds, past the Poison Spiders, and past the Black Dragons, and there'll be a ladder which you climb up to give you access to the Water Obelisk. Then if you use the Cast uh, Charge Water Orb spell, even with obviously the uh, relevant runes and unpowered orbs in your inventory you will complete the spell and then your task will be complete now while you're here you can complete the next task which is called island hopper and that's to use the grapple shortcut to get from the water obelisk island to the cafe shore so this requires you to have a mithril grapple and obviously a mithril crossbow or higher in order to use it and this obviously should be attempted after charging your five water orbs so uh, obviously equip your mithril grapple and crossbow and then uh, select the option to grapple over to the other side and once you've successfully done that, that task will be complete. The next task is going to need a bigger bow, and that is to catch 5 sharks in Cathabi, which requires level 76 fishing. Alternatively, uh, you can do this at level 71 if you use an Admiral Pie, or at level 73 if you use a Fish Pie or Fishing Potion. Now, if you've got um, items or abilities that grant you catching 2 sharks at once, it will only count as one for the task. So obviously just keep fishing uh, the sharks until you have caught enough where it comes up that the task is being complete. Uh, it should only give you more uh, than one at a time if you're using like the dwarven fish extractor or, or something like that uh, but once you've collected five sharks that task will be complete the next task is called gonna need a bigger range and that is to cook five sharks in Cathabie using the cooking gauntlet and this requires 80 cooking and also the family crest complete in order to get the cooking gauntlets burnt sharks do not count towards the five however they don't need to be cooked all in one go uh, and again you can do this at level 75 cooking with a chef's delight matured um, so the best thing I would recommend on this is I wouldn't uh, count on you cooking all five sharks successfully uh, from the one you just caught in the task so I would go and fish a few more so you've got around sort of 15 as even with the cooking gauntlets the rate for burning is quite high um, so just obviously fish yourself enough sharks so you've got an adequate amount of attempts to cook it and either way once you have successfully cooked five sharks it doesn't need to be all in one go that task will then be complete and the next task we're going to complete is called Prayer of Attorney, and that's to enter the Sears Village Courthouse with your Piety or Piety Prayer turned on. And this requires you to complete the King's Ransom and the Night Waves Training Ground, uh, and you need to obviously have 70 Prayer and 70 Defense to use it. So teleport back to the Sears Village Lodestone, and the Sears Village Courthouse is located south of the bank. You then want to turn the Prayer on and then enter the Courthouse. If you enter the Courthouse and then turn on the Prayer, it will not work, so you must make sure you've got it on beforehand. And once you've done that, that task will be complete. So once you've done all of the tasks, and if you've been following this guide to that order, that should have been the last task, it would come up saying you've completed all of the hard set, and you then need to go and speak to the relevant person to claim your rewards. So we need to speak to Sir Kay in Camelot to claim your rewards, and make sure you bring your Sears headband too with you. So 
So once you speak to them, they will give you the following reward. So you'll be given an experience lamp, which will grant you 10,000 experience at any skill above level 50, and a Sears headband free, which will have the following additional benefits. So while you are wearing it and you operate it, it will act as a bright light source for you. And at all times you'll be granted these bonuses. The Lady of the Lake will enhance your Excalibur and we'll talk about that in a moment. Formac will now enchant your Mystic Staves for 27,000 coins instead of 40,000. You'll get an additional 60 flax per day from Jeffrey, which means 120 total. The Sears Village Altar will give a 20 prayer point boost on top of your normal. The Coal Trucks will now hold an additional 28 coal, which is 308 coal in total. And the Camelot Teleport can be toggled to arrive in the centre of the Sears Village by talking to Stankers, Sir K or any Seer. So yeah, pretty decent rewards all in all. So around the Enhanced Excalibur, and I'll show you the footage as I'm going to go and do that myself now. So the Enhanced Excalibur is an upgraded version of Excalibur that can be obtained once you complete all the hard Sears Village tasks. The Lady of the Lake will enhance the Excalibur for you. So the Lady of the Lake is located in Tavoli, uh, not far from where uh, the Tavoli dungeon is. It's pretty much on the other side, also near where the uh, tree farming patch is. So make sure you bring the Excalibur with you and speak to the Lady of the Lake who enhance it. So the Enhanced Excalibur has tier 72 damage and tier 70 accuracy and it's pretty much close equivalent to an offhand Abyssal Whip. And it is the second best non-degradable offhand for melee after Jessica's Stored. The main thing it benefits is its healing ability which can be activated by right clicking it while it's in your inventory or equipped and this effect is doubled upon completing the Elite Sears Village tasks. Uh, the ability has a recharge of 5 minutes. Now if the item is lost a replacement can be retrieved from the Lady of the Lake for 500 coins. But yeah, overall, not a bad set of rewards for completing these tasks. So, obviously, like I just mentioned, um, there are the Elite Sears Village tasks. Uh, once I have the requirements and items uh, available to be able to complete that, I will make a guide on it, and that will be available in the video description below. So, check the link out. Uh, once I have done it, it will be updated. Um, as for this guide itself, you shouldn't run into any problems following it. However, if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll help you as best I can. But if not, thank you for watching. Please make Make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers everyone, bye bye.